When the possessed man saw Jesus from afar, he ran and bowed down to him. Crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, you Son of the Most High God? I beg you by God, do not torment me. For Jesus said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. Mark 5 verses 6-9 Preliminary Bible Study Questions 1. Who was Legion Demon? 2. What is demon possession? 3. Why did Jesus cast demons into a herd of pigs? The miracles of Jesus definitely include his powerful work of rebuking and casting out demons. The reason is that demons are stronger than man, but weaker than God. The demons in the Bible are the same demons we have in the world today. They haven't multiplied and none have been destroyed. The same demons Jesus dealt with are the same demons we deal with today Ephesians 6 verse 12. The biblical account of Jesus casting out demons from the madman is the best account of demon exorcism from which to learn, and there is much to learn from this accurate, historical account. This Mark 5 Bible study will enlighten us to many things concerning powerful demons, possessed people, and even possessed pigs. Don't you love learning from God's Word? There is never a dull moment. We desire to admire Him with our whole heart and our open mind. Let's get started by first reading Mark 5 verses 1 to 20 and Luke 8 verses 26 to 39. Who is Legion Demon? Strangely, upon Jesus and the disciples docking, a demon-possessed man ran up to greet them. This man was well known in the Decapolis area as a raging lunatic, a madman. He lived alone in a cemetery, wore no clothing, howled at the moon, and cut himself with sharp stones. People attempted to chain him down over the years, but his supernatural powers would break the chains and set him free. He was a dangerous menace to the people who dared pass by the burial caves Mark 5 verses 4 to 5. There were many witnesses watching Jesus and Legion Demon, who will also call the demon-possessed man. First of all, several boats had departed Galilee, Mark 4 verse 36, undoubtedly including both the inner and wider circles of Jesus' disciples, even Mary Magdalene. Luke 8 verses 2 to 3. There were also some herdsmen tending a great many pigs nearby, Mark 5 verse 14, who would later run into the city, bringing back more witnesses to observe Jesus and Legion demon. The reason the possessed madman, to this point, is referred to as Legion demon is because he was under total control of the possessing demons. You can consider Legion demon, and its possessed man, half demon and half human, because the evil spirit controlled the man's faculties and body. This was a fusion of horror made in hell. Legion demon ran up to Jesus, bowing low at his feet. You can say he bowed to the king. Jesus recognized an evil presence and commanded the prostrate legion demon, Come out of the man, you evil spirit. Mark 5 verse 8 Legion demon rose up, looked intently at Jesus, then shrieked in the most shrilling voice, Why are you interfering with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In the name of God, I beg you, don't torture me. Jesus then ordered the demon to answer this question, What is your name? This activity was obviously for the witness's benefit, and for our benefit, so that we know demons are real, they are many, and that they actually have names, Mark 5 verse 9. Biblical demon names will be listed later in this lesson. The possessed madman screeched, My name is Legion, because there are many of us inside this man. Suddenly, all of the demons inside this man's body started shrieking, Don't send us into the abyss. The demons saw the herd of pigs nearby and pleaded, Send us into those pigs. They shamelessly groveled at Jesus' feet, let us enter the pigs. 
Mark 5 verse 10 to 12. As you all know, pigs were an unclean animal to the Hebrews, Leviticus 11 verse 7 to 8. God disallowed the Hebrews to eat certain animals, fish, and birds. Most of the forbidden animals were scavengers and predators. No one is exactly sure why God forbade the animals, but a good guess would be to limit the acquired diseases for which these types of animals, fish, and birds are responsible, that is trichinosis or shellfish poisoning. Another theory is that these predator animals possess a cruel nature. They would therefore be unsuitable for consumption by God's people, because God didn't want his chosen nation associating with such a fallen, worldly condition. Now, back to the story. Study of Demons. We're going to devote this section to a more focused study of demons. There is much to learn about the spiritual world before returning to the incredible knowledge gathered from the Legion Demon story. Consider this section a compact theological study on demons. So, what is a demon? Demons are fallen angels who inhabit the realm of earth. They were swept out of heaven after their rebellion was defeated by Jesus and his angels, Revelation 12 verses 4, Isaiah 14 verse 12 to 15. Their original home was heaven, their current home is the earth, and their future home is the hellish lake of fire, Matthew 25 verse 41. All demons were once beautiful angels of God, serving him in heaven before they were cast out with Lucifer. They are now hideous, beastly creatures with incredible powers, much stronger than any man. They've observed humanity since the Garden of Eden, therefore, they are much more intelligent than us. People never outsmart demons, but, demons are not omniscient like their Creator God. Demons always recognize Jesus as the Son of God, which is opposed to people generally failing to know Christ is God's Son, John 5 verses 36-37. This is a strong indictment against humanity, John 5 verses 38 to 40. The revelation of demons is limited in the Old Testament, but here is a list of some Old Testament passages that reveal evil spirits. Demons, foreign gods, gods, and new gods, Deuteronomy 32 verses 16 to 17. Distressing spirit, 1 Samuel 16 verses 15, 16, and 23. Lying spirit, 1 Kings 22 verses 21 to 23. Activities of demons, Leviticus 17 verse 7, Psalm 106 verse 37. This list doesn't include Satan as a demon, because he is considered the devil, John 8 verse 44 the red dragon leader of all demons, Revelation 12 verse 3. The current earth is the kingdom of Satan, Matthew 4 verses 8 to 9, 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4, and his demons listen to his commands. Satan is the god of this earth and his demons are his subservient fallen angels, Ephesians 2 verse 2. Thank you for watching our sermon TV. Like, share, and subscribe for more unknown facts and stories of Bible. Comment your opinion and be blessed.